line this end cap up with the internal lasers. And the way we do that is you can set it anywhere you want on the front of the table here, somewhat straight. The screws, legs on the side here, need to be screwed down. There's two in the back and one in the front here. They need to be screwed down far enough to lift the Phantom about an eighth of an inch off the table to allow you adjustment room as we go here. So as you can see, this one is up about an eighth of an inch off the table. Normally these Phantoms should come with a small little bubble level taped onto them. And, and if you can get that somewhat level, that's also a little bit of a plus. Doesn't have to be, just make sure it's up off of the table a little bit. Now what we do is, on a GE machine, the little light bulb here will turn on the internal lasers. We push that, you can see all the lasers came on. These are all internal to the machine. We're going to line this end cap up with these lasers right here. You have this cross laser right there. And you have these vertical lasers. And you have this horizontal laser going across right here. We want those all to line up with the line on the end cap here. And when, right now we have it aligned, but when you first put the phantom down on the table, you won't have it exact. So you'll just move it, just move the phantom around up here until these lines turn bright. And this line and this line lines up with the small little holes in the end cap. There's one over here, there's one there, and there's one there. So the table, will, you'll move the table up and down to be able to get these to line up with, with this hole and that hole. Again, the table goes up and down to get those on those holes. And you'll move the table in and out a little bit to line this line and this line up with the end cap here. And you can tell the laser line is on because it luminesces on the white line on the phantom more than the gray. Correct. Correct. Once we have that and we're fairly um, confident that it's close, and it only has to be close, then we'll go in and we'll take scans of this end cap. We'll actually use the, use the scanner to scan the end cap and find, to find isocenter. Stop. All right, uh, now that we've lined the, uh, the Phantom up with the internal lasers and we're fairly confident that, it, that it's, it's centered to those internal lasers, we want to come back out here and we want to take pictures of that end cap or we want to, we want to scan that end cap. Um, and to do that, you're going to need to, the ruler, of course the Phantom, and the two nylon screws. Um, to do that now, you just need to put the the place the ruler on the phantom. To do that, you use a little grommet holes on the pegs on the phantom and place that on there so it's nice and level. Once that's set, you'll notice that it's hitting the 300 line, which is actually the ISO center. So now we're going to calibrate or verify that each centimeter that we tell the laser to move, it's actually moving that distance. So now we're going to use the pendant, the hand pendant to do that. So we need to verify that the cursor or carrot is selected by the X arm. To do that, if it was something different, you would choose that. But choose the X arm and then you're going to use the up and down arrows to select the, uh, the centimeters to calibrate. As you can see, it says zero centimeter to calibrate is at zero, which is the 300 mark. Now we're going to use the down arrow to go to where the centimeter is going to be negative one. And what we want to do is take zero and go all the way out to the end of the ruler, which is negative 30. So once, that, once you do that in, you go back to zero, and then you go zero to positive 30. Okay, now to do the negative side, negative centimeter, centimeter calibrate, we need to get to one, press the down arrow, 
and it should land on that, on the, the centimeter negative one. It says negative one and one. If it wasn't, you need to uh, adjust it. You need to use the arrows on the pendant, the left and right arrows, which is the right arrow is positive, the left arrow is negative. And you would choose then, you would go the step equals, to it tells you how to, uh, the amount of movement the laser is going to move. Uh, 16 step equals 16, it's in ticks, which is about a half a millimeter to uh, a third of a millimeter. And then so forth. And we go the bigger the number, the bigger the movement. So now we're going to go on to the next one. We're going to hit the centimeter, centimeter number two. It's going to go to, hopefully it goes to 80. If it wasn't, you would walk it by using this, the left and right or the negative and positive numbers or arrows. And once it's there, you have to hit enter. If you make it an adjustment, you have to hit enter. So now to go to uh, the negative three, it's off a little bit. We're going to move it this direction, positive. It's going to walk the laser. And once you like that, you press enter and then go on to the next centimeter. Do that again. Um, you need to see that it's off. You'd use the right or the positive arrow and it's going to move the laser until it's hitting the centimeter in the center of the line. And once that's done and you made the movement, you have to hit enter. So hit enter on the pendant. Its position is accepted there. It's good. You can go on to the next centimeter. Slow down. Sorry. And then you just walk it to there again. Once we walked it from there, we moved it that way, the direction you needed to move, and then you hit enter. And then once it's good there, go on to the next centimeter. Centimeter calibrate, negative six, move it, and it moved, which is good. I like that position. You hit enter and go on to the next. Every one of these is the same positive or uh, negative wise. Do the same process until you get to negative 30. Once you get there, uh, you're, you're done with that side and you need to do the positive sides from 0 to positive 30. So now we need to do the positive side of the ruler uh, or the movements of the, of the laser. And to do that again is the up arrow to move to centimeter to calibrate should go to 1. So I'm going to press the one from 0 should go to negative or go to 10 when I do that and if it's on 10 you're good if not then you need to adjust it and to adjust it again uh, left arrow does negative side hit that once and you made an adjustment hit enter enter and then go on to the next centimeter should go to 20 when I touch the the up arrow and it's off just a little bit can move it with the left arrow and then you press enter and then you can go to the next centimeter pressing the up arrow going to the next centimeter and then enter same process all the way through what you're going from is zero, zero, all the way to the edge of the ruler, which is positive 30. So you can just hit the positive, the up arrow, which is the positive centimeters, and walk it to where you need to, or move it to where you need to, and then hit enter. Because if you don't hit enter, it defaults back to where it originally was. And then you just keep on repeating the same process all the way through to the edge of the ruler. And enter. Okay.
and at the end you just need to get it to the edge of the ruler. Once that's done on both sides, you just tell it to go back to zero. Once it goes back to zero, you need to save what you did. So then you just have to press the save button on the pendant. And then go on to the z-axis. Doesn't matter which one, choose one and we're going to calibrate that. So we just need to set, set the system up for that and we need to take the ruler off gently without moving the phantom. You move the phantom, you got to rescan and we need to set it up for one of the arms. Doesn't matter. In this case, we're going with Z2. So the white part of the ruler, the ruler portion of it needs to face the arm you're going to calibrate. So you just need to get the uh, nylon screws and put them in the holes They go through the slots and under the holes on the phantom. And now we just need to tighten one of these. But we need to set it to a certain spot. Okay. So now you need to have a reference spot and then that is on the ruler like we had 300 on the X on the Z's it's 500 so we need to move the ruler to the to the laser and tighten so that the line runs through the point of on the 500 that is your zero so what you're going to do is calibrate this arm from zero to minus 10 which is the bottom of the ruler or the bottom of the phantom and then you're going to go from zero to positive 30 which is this 200 which is almost to the top of the board so that's what you're going to calibrate so in order to do that it's the same process as before you need the pendant so once it's at zero now we're going to do the, the negative centimeters again the negative centimeters to do that is the down arrow on the hand pendant so I'm going to hit that and it's going to move down to 10 but I have to make sure I choose Z2 so once that's done once you make sure you choose Z2 the cursor or the carrot is there then you have to then you can hit the down arrow and it's going to go to centimeter to calibrate is negative one so the down arrow and it's going to go to the 10 once it's there that is good if it isn't you make your adjustments and the right arrow is up and or positive and the left arrow is down or negative so this one's good we're going to go on to the next one move it up a little bit once I did that then you hit enter again because once you make the adjustment you always have to hit enter and then you just keep on going down to the next to the negative 10 on the on the rail which it's close I'm gonna move it up just a little bit I like it there enter enter on the pendant I moved it this direction which is the right arrow which is up again positive once I like it enter it now go on to the next centimeter which is going to say neg negative four by using the down arrow negative four and again the down arrow 